The next topic, Food Network's Restaurant Impossible coming to... Seamless transition, by the way. <laughs> Food Network Restaurant Impossible uh, came to uh, Budanza in Wilbraham. Uh, the episode was filmed at the beginning of August and got aired August 7th. Um, so if you haven't watched it, go on demand or Netflix or wherever the hell you watch restaurant or Food Network and you can watch it. Um, so originally the restaurant started off at the exit Springfield. They over a year or two grew and they moved to Wilbraham. Um, so the concept of the show, I've never seen the show. Have you seen the show? Yeah, yeah. The concept of the show is um, the host Robert and his team go into struggling restaurants and the idea is that they're not attacking, they're criticizing constructively, and they go in with a budget of So it's not like Hell's Kitchen? No, they go in constructive, I mean, in pr the episodes that I've seen, it can get emotional because this these professionals are coming in and they're saying, you know, hey, here are some things you might think you do well, we're going to tell you that everything is terrible, and we're going to give, um, I don't know if they put up the $10,000 or if it's the business owners that comes up with it, but there's a budget of $10,000 yeah. that they have for renovations and, um, you know, putting new menus together, and then teaching the staff you know, better service or um, better teaching the chefs better dishes or better presentation, and then it culminates in that big uh, re-grand opening. I mean, there the article didn't really say much because he um, saw the owner Lou Louis Marvilla. I'm not gonna <laughs> try that. Um, so yeah, I can't pronounce names. Uh, Marvilla. Yeah, Marvilla. I'm sorry. I, I just butcher <laughs> it. Anyway. Um, he really can't say much because of the contracts they signed with the channel, what goes on and yeah. or why they're being... But for me, I mean, luckily, I mean, it said the business was is not even that old. It's maybe four or five years old. Five, yeah, five was, or six. And it was only a year or two at the X, too, in Springfield. Yeah, so... Um, but imagine restaurants that are longer established that they go in and the owners are like, yeah, no, change... Or that guy, where he is, goes in and has to change the menu and all that. So it's like... the. If it affects the business in not a good light, and especially if it's a small local business, then it's really not going to benefit. See, I, I, don't, I haven't followed the show well enough to say what happens after the fact, but I'm pretty sure when they go in, the end result is usually positive. Otherwise, I don't think it would end up on TV. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean you look at, yeah, you look at uh, like Fox, I mean, there's more people going to be watching Fox and Food Network, so more people are going to see Hell's Kitchen. To a certain extent, how many people have seen... Um, Food Network's show, uh, restaurant possible? Let us know, but uh, hopefully I'll catch it after this and but see how. Either way, it's really good press for a local business. Yeah, it gives a possible business owner, you know, a coaching opportunity because these guys, this is what they, they do. They know their so there's stuff. a lot of positives that go with it, yeah. even if you know, aside from the entertainment value. Just hope it doesn't turn into where they end up closing down <laughs> after all the good PR, like a lot of other local businesses have been happening. Uh, <laughs>